this is the back um, bezel of the uh, Sync Master 225BW monitor. This is the front bezel. This is the LCD. This is the actual monitor of the bezel. I mean, of the monitor. The LCD. And this is where the power inverter is and the DVI connector. Some screws I put in the bag, so when I put it all back together, I have the screw still. And this is to hold in the power inverter. This is the power inverter. I have a new, I disassembled it because uh, this monitor wasn't working, and uh, it's probably because of the the uh, power inverter. It has bad capacitors, as you can see. These, this one right here. I'm, I'm not sure if you can see them real well. This one right here, and these two up here, they're bulging from the top. I'm not sure if you can see the bulge, but they should look like this one right here. I was nice and flat, or this little one right here, that's nice and flat. Um, you can see a little leakage on the top of this one. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to desolder these out, get new capacitors, put them in, and then put the whole monitor back together. Um, I'm going to show you the process of how to desolder these, to remove these. And then I'm going to show you how to put the new ones in, and then I'm going to show you how I'm going to put the whole monitor back together. This is the uh, soldering kit that I brought with the uh, the soldering, desoldering braid. Altogether, this came out. This was the soldering kit. The Tron 2 set was for uh, $19.99 at Radio Shack, and the desoldering braid was about $6.99. So it came out to like $28 altogether with taxes. So um, it comes with other stuff, as you can see from the box. 11 piece tool set so I'm going to open this up and I'm going to start desoldering the uh, capacitors from the uh, power inverter so what you want to do is is to uh, each capacitor is going to have a number on it Get light. <laughs> See that one right underneath it says uh, C305, and the other one says C304. Each compressor is going to have a number like that right near them. And then on the other side of the circuit board, you're going to have those numbers too. Um, I'm not sure if this is going to be easy to see. But, uh, alrighty. But right, 
right there where I have the light at. It says C304. Those two right there. Those two right there, 304. So I'm going to take 304 out. See, 304. I don't think my uh, solder is hot enough yet, so I'm going to stop the video here. So I took off one of the capacitors. It was very difficult. I, it was my first time ever doing something like this. Wait till this focus. See if you can see the bulge on top. Can't really see it too clear. slight bulge on top right here and the part I took it out from the circuit board if I can show it to you it's right there and those where I put the new one in And that's where the capacitor was the the bottom of the circle that's all with no lines that's the positive side and the negative side is the top side of the lines the short part of the capacitor is the negative part and the long part is the uh, positive side so I'm gonna remove all the, the remaining capacitors and then when I I'm ready to install one of the capacitors I'll show you how I'll do that I didn't show you the process of me taking it out because it was pretty difficult, but you get the idea. So I removed all the capacitors. Not all the capacitors, five of them that were damaged. Uh, you can probably see with this one the best. See a little bulge at the top, and then you can see the little leakage brown. So that's these are the damaged capacitors and I'm gonna get new ones to get new ones sometimes the comp at the side of the capacitor you can see the type that you need like you need one that's uh, 105 Celsius degrees negative side this is a 8.8 Right there, 820 UF, 25 volt, 105. Sometimes you can go by the dimension. Uh, I think these are 10 by 20. 
and the other ones were, I think, uh, forgot. But they, you know, I don't know if the dimensions matter, like the height, as long as it doesn't interfere when you put it back in. But uh, that's definitely the most important things that you need to know is that's 820 UF. 820 UF, 25 volt, and 105 degrees Celsius. And I'll show you the rest when I get the parts. So I brought the capacitors. These are not the same capacitors as the ones that were on here. These are 100 UF, 35 volt, uh, 85 degrees Celsius. And there, these right here, where the A20 UFs went, they're a little bigger. They're kind of touching each other, so I'm gonna try solder them where, you know, they're like a little spread apart like that. And the 330s, I got a 470, 35 volt, 85 degrees. So the short wire goes to the negative, and the and the long ones, the positive goes to the positive. As you see right here, the one with the black lines, that's negative, and the one that's white, all white, that's positive. So you stick them in like this. Then you bend the you bend them in the back like I just like I did the other ones. You just bend it like that. You bend that one like that. So I'm gonna turn off the video here now. Um, when my soldering iron gets hot, I'll show you how I uh. Sorry.